So the gyms are opening up tomorrow. And while obviously there's not going to be any sparring when we go back tomorrow, uh, just, you know, normal training, kind of solo or solo training. Obviously, like there's probably going to be sparring maybe like mid-May. So then we thought like, yeah, we've been training, obviously, like you've seen us train. So we're ready, you know, we're fit, but obviously like we're not fighting fit. We're not ready to get in to spar at that level again. What we've been doing now is we've got this little plan, sort of like a four or five week action plan. I guess you can kind of call it like a camp. So it's a little camp to basically just get back to that fitness where we can like be competitive again. So what you're going to see now is us take you through that a little bit. Yeah, this is just the first week. So we'll keep you updated every week on how it goes. You know, we're gonna start by like building up that general fitness and that strength and then gradually getting sort of like more explosive at the end of it and becoming like very specific, like narrowing off like a pyramid. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do one 20 minute round all the way through 20 minutes, no breaks. Uh, I just wanna get that cardio. You know that type of cardio where you like, where your um, heart rate's elevated about 80% for at least 20 to 30 minutes. Like I just wanna build up my base fitness. After, we're gonna do six one minute rounds with 10 seconds rest. So then that'll be like our sprint working as well. And yeah, I'm only one-handed today. I'm not, it's like not really an injury, but here, obviously like there's nothing to show anyway, but my little finger, the knuckle's a bit bruised. It's been hurt for a while, really. I've just like kept on punching with it. And then like, it's okay, but then seeing as the boxing gym can open really soon. And then, you know, hopefully we'll get to spa soon after that. I thought I might as well let it heal fully. So I can, you know, use it properly when the time comes. So yeah, we um, we're incorporating a lot of uh, technical sparring rounds and also body sparring mainly for fitness. So what you're seeing here is some of the body sparring. Uh, we're taking it very slow. Well, I guess I am at least. I've got one hand here. So I'm just trying to keep it sort of long, slow paced, you know, kind of at my tempo that I want it to be. Not really looking to get into a war with just one hand. It's not nice when you're in the inside because when you've got to double up shots on the same side, it takes a lot out of you. You need a really strong core to be able to rotate, punch, stop yourself, then rotate again, punch again. See, and then here you can see I start to gas out. Uh, I guess it's around the 12 minute mark. I guess typical heavy weight, you know? But yeah, it's obviously like now you can start to move around more, uh, unload longer and faster combinations. And obviously, this is where I start to slow down. But yeah, it's just a you know, size difference that happens. Obviously, yeah, uh, it's still gonna be improved by working on fitness, but sort of like he's supposed to be faster and fitter, you know? Guys, look, um, I got some new shorts. I think it's fitting with the whole vibe, so check, check these out, check these out. But when we start doing some squats, let's do it. Protect yourself from the sun, man. Protect yourself all times, innit? That's the, that's the rule of boxing. So protect yourself from the sun at all times as well. I didn't shave though.
Oh, that must have been a good shot, yeah. I just lost count completely. I'm talking too much shit. It's all good. The exposure's good. Yeah. All right. All right. So the thing is, you see, when we're doing the, um, you see when we're doing like the shoulder exercises. Um, so like you'll notice that even though at the top position, you know, we're fully like this, when we bring it back down, we're always like this. See, look, if you're like this when it's down, especially with kettlebells, the so weight's behind you. So it kind of wants to drag your shoulder back. It's a very vulnerable position for your shoulder. So remember here, put it in the right position there. As you, as you hold not holding the camera straight. As you push up, it rotates that way, see? Just like that. And then these sort of weightlifting days and powerlifting days, these sort of um, strongman days, I guess is what we've been calling them. We're actually still gonna continue these when the gym's open, just because it's a lot of fun. Um, the kind of lifts that we do here, you can't really do in the gym. We're still gonna go to the gym when they open next week. I'm gonna do those big compound lifts, but I think there's definitely a place for this still. So this will definitely stay part of our training. like Rocky used to doing it. <sighs> All right, so really quickly what I've done is we've got this bag. We're gonna fill it up with a few of those bags. And then we've got an old lifting belt. Doesn't fit anymore, it's too, a bit too big. Tied, um, here, tied it up there, got a knot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tie that around us and we're gonna pull it. Stop, 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 stop. See my speed. Although when we do go back to the gym, stay tuned because we're gonna be incorporating a lot more of those unconventional kind of lifts. You know, you'll see what we're talking about, but yeah, because I'm bored, man, I'm just doing bench, squats and deadlifts forever let alone all that accessory stuff, just gets real boring real quick. If anything, that's just making it easier for you. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's making it easier. Yeah, I don't but... do it. Yeah, you don't need it to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can add more back, one back to worry about. Yeah, I don't know. Right, he added weight. He wanted you to know um, he's not going to be able to carry it though, so we'll just see him fail, I guess. <laughs> the lion's good on your back, though. It's like the guy's just never able to unshackle oh. himself. This could be like a metaphor. A metaphor for the guy that couldn't break free from his chains. No matter how hard he tried. No, that's cheating, bro. As for the running, we did quite a few runs. I didn't um, include all of them, to be honest. I didn't, uh, I didn't get, I didn't film. So you see here, this is just one of the long distance 5K runs that we went on, but we did a bunch of sprints and uh, like short distance sprints, mainly for power, and then fitnessy kind of sprints where you keep your heart rate elevated. Uh, I'll show you these though. I'll record them next week. So this is the training that we haven't really incorporated for quite a while since the off season. Uh, it's just really all for getting that power out. Um, really going to increase your punching power. So like all that strength that we've built up, now we're basically training our muscles to exert it 
uh, as quick as possible. So what you see in here is a lot of power exercises, like so low reps, but also low enough weight or resistance so you can accelerate it really quickly. Here was my trick. I said I could see, I closed my eyes and I envisioned it. I said I saw it going further than the furthest one. And that's what made me do it. And every time I couldn't see in my mind it going further, it didn't go further. And every time in my mind I saw it going further, <laughs> it went further. So in order to actually accommodate a lot of this training, we've had to do double sessions. So that's training in the morning and in the evening. Which is obviously something you'd expect in on the season, during the season. You know, not really something that you want to be doing a lot in the off season. But this is just us getting back into the routine of things. You know, like, yeah, I guess gyms could close again soon, but I'm a bit more optimistic this time, thinking they're going to stay open. The season's probably going to start soon, so we might as well get ready. See, all of this stuff here is great for building explosive core these that you see now and um, also the rotational throws that we do next just um, yeah it's all necessary really because remember your punching power comes from your core and your legs so that's what's that's what's got to get explosive So yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, been a pleasure, as always. And yeah, like, good luck for training tomorrow. Have fun, go for it, you know, just, you know, who knows? Who knows if there's gonna be another, another gym closure soon. So go in, enjoy yourself, do what you can. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Thank you.